Welcome back to Vacancy at Vanilla's episode 25. Wow. That's like a milestone number, I'd say. 25, that's a quarter of a century. Alexa, what is a quarter of a century? Samantha.com. For one quarter of a century is 25 years. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Shut the fuck up because obviously quarter, 25 cents. I know. I just wanted to fact check that. Okay, well, now we all know. Um, So it's a quarter. It's our quarter of a century podcast episode, everyone. Hello. And I know I'm a little late on it. So <sighs> it's very unfortunate. <laughs> Life just catches up to me sometimes. Um, And the real the real tea is that I did a fortnight with sub stream on Tuesday. And then yesterday I had about two hours in between me coming home and going into work where I could have very much filmed the podcast, but I did not But, uh, the good thing about it being late is that I did work a day shift today. It's about 7 20 PM right now. So you are seeing me, if you're watching on YouTube, you are seeing me with a full face beat. You are seeing me with a gorgeous mug. So at least that's um, a plus for you guys. It's just a better, excuse me, just a better viewing experience all around. So you could thank me. <laughs> you could thank me later for that. Um, anyway, how was everyone's week? Uh, did anyone go to Coachella? You know, what's the tea with that? I know technically, well, it ended last weekend and then they had the first weekend so I'm a little bit late on that um we might have even do we even talk about we talked about that last week too girl I don't fucking remember I don't remember anything I, I literally come on here I click record and I fucking black out I couldn't really tell you much of anything I've ever said on here uh to begin with but I didn't watch any of the week two uh lives or streams or whatever because I'm like I mean I already fucking saw what I needed to see the only thing I was a little jealous of was Faye Webster bringing out Lil Yachty that did get me a little upset that I wasn't there but would I have gone anyway no because it's my fucking nightmare I would never want to go to Coachella not happening ever I don't care what position I'm ever in in my life I you will never catch me at Coachella I, I really don't <sighs> <laughs> and then watch watch next year I get some crazy fucking brand deal and I don't have anxiety anymore or whatever and and I'm there and then you can clip this and then clip me uh at Coachella in a little fucking mini skirt listening to whoever the hell is the headliner next year who do you think maybe uh I'm trying to think let me predict it let me predict it no come on let's do a prediction headliner of Coachella next year I'm gonna go Jojo C. <laughs> I'm going to go Jojo Siwa, Pink Panthers, and maybe, hmm, who's my third? Maybe Harry Styles. <laughs> so incorrect. Oh, sorry. I always forget to turn the, the sound off. Sorry, you, you guys all probably thought you had a text, didn't you? <laughs> no one's texting your phone. Sit down. Shut up. Sit down. Listen to me. No one's fucking texting your phone. Shut the fuck <laughs> Just don't even worry about that. Um, but yeah, my, my life has been, you know, normal as usual. I will say there was a crazy fucking stream. I want to say it was Monday night. I wasn't even going to get on stream and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go on Twitch. So I went on Twitch and I don't know what the fuck got into everyone, but I got gifted 340 something subs I think in one fucking day and if you don't know how twitch works basically every subscription costs around five to six dollars depending on like what state you're in I think I didn't know that it varied um and if you are already subscribed yourself you can gift subscriptions to other people so you can buy them in packs of five ten twenty five or you could just do one but people were just gifting and gifting and gifting and gifting and they were all like we love you we support you and you're amazing and I literally was fucking tearing up on this <laughs> stream and it was insane and I love you guys so much um so I just wanted to just wanted to brag about that a little bit uh so you know get me to that get me to freaking partner plus now that I'm a partner come on let's crank up the speed here so that mommy can get a bigger share of her twitch 
payout because I thought being a partner, you got a bigger share, but no, Twitch made partner plus. They got to make it fucking harder for everyone. So it's still a 50 50 uh, pay cut, I believe. But um, I don't know. The next level is called Partner Plus. I don't even really know how the fuck that shit works. But yeah, you, you already know the deal. Most of you follow me on Twitch anyway, so I'm not even tripping. But it was a fun little stream. Um, and thank you guys so much for that. Thank you for the million trillion gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to be uh, like Mr. Beast in like another week. So if, if we keep going at this rate. So I'm really excited for that. Um, in other news, I had my follow-up appointment. Well, I made another follow-up appointment with my psychiatrist who has been really pissing me off to, to say the least. Um, I still am getting a new therapist. Um, I decided to not even go through insurance. Cash was telling me about this. It's not better help. It's not better help. It's this other website that you can do therapy on. Um, and it's not fucking better help. These are like real good therapists. You have to pay like a membership fee for the website. But, um, I was like, honestly, I'm down to pay a membership fee because the people in my network for my insurance seem like they went to fucking college at Fisher Price, dude. I don't know what the fuck, <laughs> like, where did y'all get your, your fucking degrees? Cause this is a little crazy. Um, so I broke up with my therapist just because I didn't feel like she was giving me like any actual insight. Like I'll, I'll hear people say like, oh, my therapist told me. And then it's like the most profound thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. And my therapist is like, you're great. You're just awesome. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. And it's nice. But I'm like, girl, we got to get dig deeper. So as you guys know, broke up with the therapist. She's fired. She's done. Um, So my psych, she's like this. She she kind of looks like Teresa Caputo <laughs> from Long, the Long Island Medium. She kind of gives Long Island Medium tone it down a bit, though, and California version. OK, so just imagine that. That's kind of what she she not, not like Long Island accent. It's just like the hair. She kind of has like that Karen-y blonde hair, old white lady. Um, and she's nice, but she just, mind you, these, these appointments are 15 minutes, okay? So, like, what can I even fucking tell you in that amount of time? So, it's on the computer. It's 15-minute intervals. And I'm literally fucking telling this woman, I'm like, she, I, I, I scheduled an appointment with her sooner than um, our follow-up appointment because, first of all, I didn't know this. I, we, I, I might have already said this before. I didn't know that every month you have to get like on the fucking phone or on the zoom with your psychiatrist to get the refill of your anxiety or depression medication, whatever medication you're on. That's like a normal thing. I don't know what the fuck insurance my mom had. I know it was a good one because she works for doctors. Um, that I went, when I was 16, I saw the psychiatrist one time, talked to her for probably about 20 minutes. She gave me Lexapro, never saw her again. And I went and I would go and pick it up at CVS every month. And I never had to see the lady ever again. So I'm over here thinking, well, this bitch is trying to finesse me now that I got to see her every month to get my fucking refill. And you got to pay out of pocket. It's like 35 bucks, whatever, um, for the appointment. <laughs> and apparently that's like a normal practice. I asked I asked some of y'all in the Discord. I'm like, do, do y'all psychiatrists do that? And they were like, yeah, mine does. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm not, whatever. So that I guess that's normal. But um, I had an appointment with her next month when my refill of my Lexapro is going to be due. Um, for those of you who don't remember, I bumped it up from 10 milligrams to 15 milligrams because I've been on 10 milligrams for years now. I feel like it just hasn't really been doing anything for me anymore. Um, like I said, I've been on the fucking shit since I was 16. I started out with five milligrams. A few years ago, I went up to 10 on my own. I didn't even consult a doctor. Oops, no one come fucking get me. Um, I'm okay. I don't need to be thrown in the psych ward yet. But uh, that really didn't do much. And then she was like, okay, maybe let's crank you up to 15. So that's what we've been doing for the past three months now, I'd say. Two or three months. And I will say that I don't feel better. <laughs> I don't feel better. I don't even feel the same. I almost feel a little bit worse. I feel like my thoughts are racing even a little bit more and things that wouldn't even make me anxious are making me anxious now. So I'm like, okay, so now we're getting worse. So what the fuck is that about? So I notice it's worse when I 
like don't leave the house and I had to take a day almost two weeks at this point I, I like I worked like maybe one or two days in this two week period but I pretty much took two weeks off of work because I had a raging yeast infection uh, sorry a little TMI there I had a raging yeast infection and it was really fucking bad it was really bad and uh I couldn't I couldn't be walking around in these tiny little panties baking bread with sourdough in there like you're crazy I'm not freaking going to work and it's just like uncomfortable the panties that we wear are not like cotton breathable panties they're like tiny little fucking bikini material thongs that are so far and tight up your ass and the coochie part is like this big the my lips are fucking hanging out they're on the floor like I can't I can't do that I simply can't do it so I did take some time off from work um which was nice but I do feel like you know when I take time off of work and then I have to go back to work like that makes me a little anxious you know stuff like that so I don't know my thoughts were just kind of like racing and I was not feeling myself and just all bad all bad so I was like let me make an appointment with this lady because I don't think this 15 milligrams is doing me any good I just I, I, I'm at the point where I don't even think Lexapro is doing me any good um and I was talking to my best friend Sam he has OCD and I believe ADHD as well. Um, but he, his thoughts used to race like pretty bad. And he would kind of like be in certain like head spaces that I find myself in sometimes. And um, he tried Lexapro at one point when we were in high school, I think. And he was like, my, my, my dick can't get hard. I'm done taking this shit. <laughs> so he stopped taking that because uh he couldn't get it up and um that's like a big side effect of Lexapro is that you don't have any uh you know one you don't have a libido really you don't have much of a sex drive and for a lot of people I mean people with penises especially that they can't even like fucking get hard um like I said I've been on Lexapro since I've been sexually active so uh I was <laughs> I was talking about this on stream you know, I've been on Lexapro since I've been sexually active. So now I'm like, well, if I come off of Lexapro, it's been over 10 years. If I come off of Lexapro, am I going to be, you know, if I have sex, am I going to be squirting, creaming, coming all over the walls? Or like, is my sex life going to be like, like, have I been missing out on something this whole time? Like, this could unlock a whole new world for me. You know what I mean? So I'm a little scared of what that might mean for me and the kind of person that that might turn me into. Because if... <laughs> because if sex off of Lexapro is as good as, you know, y'all say it is, I might need to stop taking that shit tomorrow. <laughs> no, but for real, if, if anyone, but it also let me know if you have taken Lexapro at any point in time in your life and noticed side effects sexually and you're not on it currently, is there really a difference? Please let me know in the comments because I'm scared that this might open up a portal and it also might open up my legs. <laughs> so We'll see how that goes for me. Um, I am a little scared. So if you see me hoeing out, just fucking mind your business. Uh, hey, Miso. Hey, do you see my son? Look at this guy. Oh, okay. Why does he do that? He comes over, looks like he wants me to pet him. And then when I pet him, he's like, that's absolutely the last thing I wanted. Okay. Um, so anyway, let me even get to the fucking point of the story. So I had the psych appointment with the lady and... I tell her that I've been feeling a little bit worse and uh, I don't know if the Lexapro's working for me. I don't know, whatever. And she says to me, she's like, well, it was working for you fine before. Um, lady, no, the fuck it wasn't. That's why I came to you in the first place. Me, so stop it. See, live in action. You fucking saw that. You saw that. So you guys know I'm not lying when I say he's the fucking killer. He's trying to eat my sunny angel off my fucking laptop. Anyway. So she's like, well, it was working for you fine before. And I'm like, uh, no, it actually wasn't. It, it has not been. That's why I came to you fucking in the first place, woman. And 
She's like, well, you know, if you're on 10 milligrams right now, we could bump you down or we can put it higher. I'm like, I'm on 15. What do you have written down in your damn schedule? Like, or whatever the fuck you like. The lady doesn't even know. I'm like, do you you even know what patient you're talking to? Like, I'm like, I'm on 15 milligrams. You bump me up from 10 to 15. She's like, okay, all right. She's like, so basically I could put you from 15 down to what did she say? She's like, oh, so we can go from 15 down to 10.5 or you can go up to 17.5 or something like that. And I was like, okay. I don't think either of those are going to solve the issue because if I'm going down, I mean, yeah, I could go back down, but it's still, I already know what it feels like to be on the lower dosage. It's still not really helping and going higher. I don't think that's going to fucking help either lady. Cause I'm telling you that I don't feel like, okay. So I'm like, neither of those sound like a solution. What else do you have? And she's like, okay, well, I can put you on this medication. Um, let me see if I could find it in because I I was literally Googling it as um, as this woman was telling me the names. When when was this appointment? Was it on Tuesday? I don't even freaking remember. Mm, I was literally Googling it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, the first one. Okay, okay. So she goes, I could put you on propanolol. And she's like, but it's not an anxiety or depression medication. It's a beta blocker. I'm like, freaking, do you have any alpha blockers? Get it? Um, So she's like, it's a beta blocker. I'm like, what the hell is that? So she's like, basically, it's a heart medication. And people will take it like an hour before they have like a public speaking event or something that they know that they're going to be like, you know, more nervous for and they'll take it. And what it does is you, you know, you may, you will think you'll still think the thoughts that make you nervous, but it almost stops your body from going into that panic attack because it keeps your heart at a normal rate. So it doesn't allow your heart rate to go up. I'm like, okay, that sounds really scary I think just taking that alone would send me into a panic attack so and it doesn't stop the the racing thoughts so I'm kind of just like trapped in a fucking shell um where my body is not necessarily panicking but I am in my head so I'm like oh that actually sounds fucking terrible still not solving the issue and um then she's like or I could put you on Abilify so again I google Abilify She said, we do use it on our schizophrenic patients. I said, okay, well, last time I checked, not hearing voices in my head yet. So what the fuck are we talking about here? And then the funniest part is that as soon as you like type in Google Abilify and like the, um, the Google suggestions come up for like anything that you type, the third one was Abilify ruined my life. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, let me look. And of course it's a Reddit thread and Reddit is the number one trusted um, website in America. So I look at the Reddit thread and there is like a whole thing of people that took Abilify. So it's meant for people with schizophrenia. It could be for people with bipolar disorder. um, And I think a few other things. Uh, But she's like, it it will stop the racing thoughts, but it might make you sleepy. So you should take it at night. I'm like, what the fuck? This woman, like, did she get her degree fucking yesterday? And I'm like, okay, did you, like, did you think that, like, any of this at all could be, like, any form of OCD? Like, just, like, from your expertise? What She's like, no, I don't think so at all. No. And I'm like, okay. And I'm not trying to fucking self-diagnose. But I'm like, okay, I guess, you know, whatever. And so I'm looking at this Abilify thread. And it's necessarily saying that people took this medication and went into like a manic state and they spent like all of their fucking money. Like people have like taken this medication and literally blown their whole life savings because it just sent them into like a manic fucking rage. I don't know. And they just spent their whole money, like spent their, (laughs) spent their whole money, spent all of their fucking money. And there are apparently multiple lawsuits against (laughs) The people who make Abilify, I don't know. There's there's multiple lawsuits against Abilify for this reason because people have fucking lost all their and their whole livelihood because of this medication. I'm like, wow, that is so one fascinating, but two fucking crazy. So 
I found that uh, a little silly and I was like okay I will not be taking that medication so you know I'm trying trying to be nice to this lady and I'm like okay well do you think I could maybe you know just look into these medications and then get back to you she's like of course of course you don't have to decide on anything today just you know let me know what you think and I'm like okay bye love you hang up bitch you're fired (laughs) oh she's fired she's fired everyone's getting fired so now I gotta call another fucking I gotta call the damn my insurance and get get the number to the fucking clinic and get another psychiatrist and all this fucking shit oh my god and then I'm doing the therapy website thing and I found this lady that I'm like oh perfect this lady looks like perfect like I really I feel like I'll really like this lady so I uh email the lady um I email the therapist and uh (laughs) actually funnily enough her name was Jennifer I think right and so the website, you have to, like, once you pay for the membership fee, then you you could, you know, go through the list of therapists. And then once you find a therapist you like, it links their email and you can email them. And then from there, you, you're, you're kind of just directly talking to the therapist and you book through the therapist, right? <laughs> so her name was Jennifer on the thing. And the email was like the name of the the center that I guess she she either owns or works for. It wasn't like her personal email or like her the the email didn't have her name in it it was like something something like health center dot org or whatever the fuck so I email it and I send over my information and I get an email back let me see if I could find it I get an email back (laughs) from oh no no her name was Jessica okay her name was Jessica and I get an email and it's literally that next day and it says from Jess to me and let me see it says my first and last name but it says it like in the font that like my email is in like it's all like together um then it says hello that's my email and I said and I'm over here I'm like is this the therapist because one that's like very like a very strange response it just says my name in like but condensed together hello that's my email from Jess So I'm like, what the fuck? Is this the therapist? But then the actual uh, email that it was under was like a very Russian name and it wasn't Jess or anything. So I'm like, who is this? (laughs) I'm like, no way this is the therapist, right? This is the message that I get back. Emily, I am your longtime secret fan. I am a 28-year-old lonely woman searching for some fun. I am ready to try something new in the bedroom. Interested? Please, let's catch up today or tomorrow. If you want to see my selfies, you can check them out here. So it's safe to say that that was definitely my therapist. <laughs> um, but then I did get an email uh, later that day from the actual therapist, a very professional email from her basically stating that her slots um, are full for the because when you sign up for this website, you get the the rates at like a discounted price. They go anywhere from like 40 to 70 dollars a session. She's like, unfortunately, my spots are booked, so I can only offer sessions at my normal rate, which is 200 dollars an hour. And girl absolutely not I'm sorry 200 200 every week out of my own pocket <laughs> no but that's that's more than my car payment at that point I'm paying that four times a month you're out of your goddamn mind almost a band a month for therapy girl I'd rather go fucking cuckoo <laughs> so I'm like okay whatever so I, I've been emailing some other therapists uh the past like day so we'll see. Uh, I'll have new therapist reveal next week. Hopefully, well, you know, we'll see. New new therapist. Um, who knows? Uh, anyway, I had a. <laughs> I, <laughs> dude, I'm so bad at fucking ta- like going into the next subject. I'm like, anyway, I uh, literally like a stand up comedian. So yesterday, I uh, like so bad, but I, I, this is what I do. I just write down bullet points in my notes app of things that I want to talk about. And then we just go from there. So fucking whatever. Um, anyway, I had uh, a dream last night. And my dreams are always very interesting, to say the least. I usually have some pretty uh, pretty out there dreams. And um, this dream last night was so weird. Because especially since I haven't... Well, I went to work last night. 
But before that, I hadn't been there in like almost two weeks. So there is a DJ at the club. And he's also worked a few shifts at my old club. So I, you know, I've seen him before. And, you know, we say hi to each other. We've literally like not never even really had like a real conversation. He's very handsome, very cute little. And I say little, but bitch, he's my age. He looks younger. And I thought that he was like 22, but apparently he's my age. I'm like, oh, okay. But in my brain still, I think that he's like 22. So (laughs) in my dream last night, I was at work and he was there as a customer. And I'm like, because usually like, I mean, depending on what club you work at, a lot of times they won't let um, employees come if you're like off the clock like they don't some clubs don't allow that and I don't know how this club is really but in my head I'm like aren't you like not allowed to be here whatever so at first it starts that we're like at the club and you know how sometimes dreams you'll literally just like teleport into like another place and you don't even like fucking think of it as anything bitch and then we're like at another like bar but it's like I'm not working anymore and I'm just like out and about And he's there, but I didn't go there with him. It was so fucking weird. He was there and we may or may not have had sexual relations in the dream. So I'm like, what the fuck? So it was very, very bizarre. I woke up and I'm like, that is such a random, because I don't even be having dreams like that. I was like, that was so random. And then I went to work today and he was there and I was like, <laughs> it was just so funny. It was just so funny to see him after I had that job. I'm like, he don't even know. He don't even know that we that I banged him in my dream last night. He don't even have a fucking clue in the world. So he's there and, you know, I, I say hi to him and he was, you know what? I, maybe call me delusional. He was a little bit nicer than normal. And he gave me a hug. And I was like, oh, wow, we don't do that. Did you have the same dream? (laughs) Did you have the same dream last night too or what? (laughs) Something just wasn't adding up there. I was like, okay, right, 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 right. And I mean, he's a very nice guy, very sweet, (laughs) handsome, handsome man. But I just thought that was pretty funny. I was like, okay, something's different here. Um, so I don't know if any of you have ever experienced that where you've had a weird dream about like a coworker or something, someone that you're like not even particularly like interested in or think about like, and then you're like, what the fuck? And then you got to see them and you're like, it's just fucking weird, you know? So I don't know. I just thought about that. Um, what time did we start recording at? Seven, I think like seven, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, we're about like 40 minutes right now, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, my, my, <laughs> that's all I had written down. <laughs> that's it. That's all, folks. Um, I posted a new vlog. I posted a new vlog, uh, today. Um, so go check that out on my other YouTube channel. If you just YouTube Vanilla Mace, it'll come up. Um, a lot of people are like, I can't find the other channel. Girl, just, just literally YouTube Vanilla Mace. It'll come up. It's the, the, the account name is just Vanilla Mace. Um, I have four vlog videos up, I think, now. So eventually I'll be able to... uh, I just got to keep posting fucking vlogs and shit. And then I'll be able to uh, make money on that account as well. (sighs) Me acting like I'm making so much money on this uh, account. But I'm manifesting it, guys. I'm manifesting it. Um, But this is just... I really just have more fun doing this shit than anything. So, Uh, yeah. But in the vlog, I kind of just, like, did a bunch of stupid shit throughout my day. And I got a uh, booty hole wax. I did get a butthole wax. Um, from the Valley Girl, who was also my lash artist, and I did get my lashes done yesterday as well. So tell me that they look good. Thank you. Uh, so I got my butthole waxed, and very painless. Would recommend. Ten out of ten would recommend. I've never done just a butthole wax. You know, I've done a few uh, Brazilians in my day. Never done just the butthole wax. It was very nice. Um, I don't, again, I don't know if I've even talked about this last week or not I, I don't fucking remember um I don't imagine I would have talked about it did I girl I don't know it's so bad I don't remember anything and also too when I edit the podcast I don't really listen to it back because the only thing I really have to do is like put the intro 
Um, as long as I don't like mess up and uh, <clears throat> have to cut anything out, which really after like the third episode, I kind of just got good at just fucking rambling on for like an hour. Um, I would say like the first couple episodes, there definitely were like a few cuts. The only thing I really have to edit, I have to put like the intro and then I have to line up the audio from the mic with the video, which takes like two seconds. And then I edit in the calls whenever I do a call. And fuck me again. I fucking forgot to put the phone out. God fucking damn it. I knew I was forgetting something too. And I told myself before I started recording, I was like, I got to get the phone. Didn't fucking get the phone. It's okay. Um, and that's it. And then I put the outro. So I don't listen to anything back. I literally record and hope it sounds good. And I fucking post it. And how fucking embarrassing. I don't remember which episode. It was one of the earlier on episodes. But I... Um, posted the sp- <laughs> I posted the Spotify version of it the YouTube version of it ended up being fine but the Spotify version of it I don't know how but I used just like the normal uncut audio so all you hear in the first like it's no intro music it's just like this is all you hear in the beginning it's me just like this <sighs> just heavy breathing into the fucking mic before I started actually like talking and oh my god and then like for when I had the calls it's just like not edited you just hear it like oh it was so bad it was so 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 bad so embarrassing and it was up for like a whole day and no one told me fucking shit I'm like you guys are so fucking fake for that you guys are so fake for that no one told me shit um so that was really embarrassing but other than that, I've gotten pretty good at this shit, man. I've gotten pretty good at this shit. And uh, I know a lot of you are asking, when are you going to get guests? Can we get more guests on here? And the answer is my options for guests are very limited. Um, I've told Lawrence to get his ass on here. That man's busy tattooing. Uh, also, book, book him. Book him for a tattoo if you live in the Los Angeles area and you want a tattoo. Lawrence loves you. That's his Instagram. Fucking DM him. He's done a lot of mine and they look really good. And I was actually out on Sunday and I got multiple compliments on my back tattoo that he did because it was a nice day. So I had a top on. I had a little tank top. You could see my back tattoo. Um, and I've been meaning to get more. I've been meaning to get more. I don't know what I want though. Because sometimes I like go back and forth with wanting more and not wanting to get any more because I'm like, I want to look like cool but I don't I also don't want to look like a trashy white girl you know how sometimes it like crosses that line it also has to do with your aesthetic too so I don't feel like I give trashy white girl do I (laughs) be honest (laughs) be honest guys I bought this wig um uh just came in yesterday and in the pictures it looked a little more red if I remember correctly also It was seen on a darker skinned woman. So obviously like the color on her was going to look different on me. Um, But it had good reviews. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy it. And uh, again, TikTok shop. (laughs) You know me buying my TikTok shop wigs. And the wig is good. Like the wig is good. The the lace is good. The the hairline is good. Like the wig itself looks good. But the color, I'm just not... I'm just not in love with it's like a weird in between like orange and red and I'm almost like bitch pick one like which one is it it's like it's almost like the the color hair that you would think of if someone was cosplaying poison ivy and I'm like like I wish it was like a little more red so what I think I'm gonna do either tomorrow or the next day I'm probably going to go live on TikTok and ruin the wig (laughs) and dunk it in the fucking thing. I'm going to go get some red hair dye, dunk it in the thing. And uh, hopefully it comes out good because I don't know. I've just been like wanting to try new hair colors and yeah, I want to do more funky fun colors. And next I want a wig. I think I want one that has like pink highlights in it, but uh, it's going to look good. You got to trust the process, the process. The process. Oh, my fucking. You got to you got to trust the process. Uh, I, I seen a few pictures of wigs. It's like a little blonde and there's just like some baby pink and there's some hot pink and it just looks really good. It just looks good. And you got to trust me on this. OK, you got to trust me on this. But this one I'm going to have to unfortunately probably drop a 
drop some some good money on. I mean, my wigs are human hair. Um, they cost like two hundred to three hundred dollars, depending on where I get them from. The fucking TikTok shop ones. Uh, but I did like some some wigs that I bought in my in my lifetime have cost upwards to eight hundred dollars, and um. <laughs> I was at work today and there's this girl and she's very, very sweet. She's very sweet. And she has on this synthetic wig and she was like, oh my God, look, she was like, you inspired me because she got a blonde one. And she was like, yeah, I got it from Shein. It was $8. <laughs> it was like $8 for a wig is criminal. Like, where do they even do that at? It was just $8. Like the beauty supply shops are going to go out of freaking business, man. Like, eight dollars that's crazy <laughs> you can't even get like a fucking subway sandwich for that much like that's crazy you got a whole wig on your head for eight dollars i gotta go i gotta have a look at those i gotta have a look at those because i know she and has human hair wigs i don't think i'd ever i mean granted do they all probably come from the same fucking vendor somewhere in china yes but i just don't know if i could get down with a she and wig i just i really don't know if i can get behind that really don't know if that's something I can get behind um I got I gotta do I gotta stick with my uh my, my TikTok shop uh wigs yeah and, and this one too again I didn't even really I literally saw a video of this girl putting it on and that was all it really took for me <laughs> that was all it really took I saw one video of this girl putting it on she tagged the company and I went on there and I bought it mm, I just I just trusted this girl I just trusted her review and I mean, the wig is good. The wig is good. Um, I just got to check. The color is just not, it's just not giving. I mean, maybe red's just not my color. I did wear a synthetic red wig for the sexy red concert. Um, but again, it wasn't even like, I mean, it, it was so synthetic that like I had to wear a hat the whole time because that hairline baby, oof, oof, man, was that, that wig was oof. Um, but it, it, it gave with the hat. If you go look at my Instagram, I think I have some pictures probably from that night. I think, do I actually, I'm, I might be a liar. I don't even think I have any pictures posted from that night, but the outfit gave, come on. It, it, it did what it had to do. It was sexy red. Um, but I was sweating. I was sweating in that fucking hoe. Oh my God. Cause I had a fucking synthetic wig on and the biggest furriest hat you can imagine. And it was 90 million degrees in there and fucking Natalie Nunn and all the goddamn baddies girls were one foot in front of me smoking and fucking, Oh God, it was so hot. It was so hot in there. Um, and then, yeah, and then girls were like flashing their titties for Natalie Nunn and shit. And I was just like, whoa, this is this is a lot. There's a lot going on here. And the thing I was like, it's just so crazy because I was at that same venue, literally in that exact same like area where I was up in the, on the balcony in that exact same spot, probably two months prior at a King Cruel show. And just the vibe was entirely different. The vibe was just so entirely different. And I'm like, wow, the duality of people you know like just to think that a few months ago I was here and everyone's just like you know head nodding a little bit people are like sitting down everyone's just kind of vibing out and now it's just like titties out ass is shaking it smells like bounce that ass like it's just literally smells like bounce that ass and fucking runts and cookies and whatever other fucking weed brands <laughs> gorilla glue girl I don't fucking know I don't even know what weed <laughs> I don't know, bro. Backwoods, Russian, uh, whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and you know what pissed me off today? Actually, speaking of weed, I was at work, and this fucking guy. I also made zero dollars at work today, so literally the biggest waste of time. I could have just fucking stayed home, recorded this earlier on in the day, and had it out at a fucking reasonable hour. But no, no, I had to fucking go to work and make zero fucking dollars. Um, but at least last night I made a little bit of money, so whatever. So I'm at work, and you know what? pisses me off already about work in general is that you're you're a customer you're a guy and you're in the club okay and I come up to you and I get it the short hair is not for everyone but you're not going to sit here and act like I'm the ugliest fucking bitch you've ever seen in your life because sometimes what you'll do is you'll go and you'll you'll sit down next to a guy and be like hi how are you whatever ew that voice sounded so like James Charles hi sister um I'll just be like, hey, how's your day? Whatever. And they are just like, good. 
Yeah. Mm hmm. Like, so uninterested. Bitch, okay. Like, you, and you know what would be so much better than that? Hey, so sorry to waste your time, but I just don't think I want to dance right now. Thank you so much, though. Could have saved everyone the fucking trouble. But then, but they'll continue to have a conversation with you. And literally, I'll give them a minute max. This I'll, it'll, I'll be like this. Hi, how are you? Mm, okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What you know? What are you up to? How's your you know? What's your plans for the rest of the day? Um, no, oh, nothing. Okay. Well, have you been here before? Yeah. Okay. Well, are you know? Are you looking to do any dances or no? Okay, bitch. You know that's it. But you know, for some reason, this guy. It was like a very weird. Like I couldn't tell. It was such a weird vibe. I'm like, one second he looked like he was like interested in the conversation, then another second is like, you think I fucking killed his family? Like, it was such a weird, like, something about him was so off. But, and mind you, I was sitting with this guy for less than like four minutes. So this wasn't like it was dragged on for that long. Because that's another thing, too. You can't fucking sit with these guys for that long. Like, bitch, if, if and this, this is your customer and you know for a fact that you are going to be getting money out of them and they're going to take you to the VIP and give you money, whatever. But you cannot be sitting with these customers for like fucking an hour, you know? Granted, sometimes I do, uh, bitch, I like to yap. Sometimes I do get caught up in a conversation every now and then. Um, But, I, you know, I'm not just sitting there. Like, what the fuck? At that point, what is there even to talk about? Oh, my God. Like, you get 10 minutes max. If I don't know you, 10 minutes is the absolute max. Um, Because I get it. They're not every guy. Like, it, usually if you just go up to a guy and you're like, hey, want to dance? They're going to be like, no. You kind of have to like sit down, riz them up a little bit. I get that. I get that. They want to feel like you actually give a fuck about them. I get it. But this fucking guy, he's just, he's acting so weird. And then he has the absolute fucking audacity. He pulls out his weed pen. Granted, I get it's like, whatever. It's a weed pen. It's not like he just, he like fucking lit a blunt in my face. But he pulls out a weed pen and he fucking hits it. And he like blows it. And it's like all in my face. And I'm like, <coughs> like, what the fuck? I'm like, he was like, do you smoke? Uh, no, actually, fuckhead, I don't. So, thank you for that. Like, bitch, what if I was sober? What if I was, like, 20 years sober from weed? And weed was, like, my drug of choice. And then you just blew that ganja right in my face. And I relapsed right there. Like, fuck you. I don't know. That shit just <laughs> pissed me off. I was just like, ew. I'm a lady. Why are you blowing that in my face, you nasty fucking pig? And so, that just really made me mad. Um, ugh, I don't know. Honestly, and I've and I've said it. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. If you vape, you're disgusting. If you, <laughs> a, a lot of you right now with your fucking minty mango, puff bar zooter ten thousand. What did she just say? If you fucking vape, it's so unattractive. It's so childish. It makes your breath smell like fucking fruit and shit. You think your breath smells good? No, baby. It smells like strawberry and bounce that ass. I promise you. I promise you. And it doesn't even smell like real. It just smells like candy straw. Like, ugh. it smells like synthetic lab grown strawberries and bounce that ass. That's what your fucking breath smells like. If you vape, I, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, again, I don't like I'm talking about nicotine vapes now. That's what I'm talking about. Weed vapes. Okay, whatever. Cool. That's fine. I get it. If you're like an on the go person, you don't want to fucking light. I would actually rather someone smoke a weed pen than be someone who's like constantly needs to smoke a blunt every fucking hour. I could not date someone who needs to smoke a blunt every fucking hour. Like if you're someone who need, who wakes up and you have to roll a blunt and smoke immediately, like I, I can't get behind that. I can't get behind that. A little, maybe, maybe a little joint. A, little, a joint is very dainty and cute and doesn't smell as disgusting. But if you need to fucking roll it... Oh my god you know what pisses me off you know what pisses me off <laughs> i don't know why i'm so mad this episode when people pull up with the goddamn giant ass fucking graba leaf or whatever the fuck bitch why do you have it literally looks like the the shit tarzan draped over his ball sack why do you have the fucking cloth that tarzan draped over his ball sack you're holding it up it's this fucking big and you're telling me now that you're gonna fucking rinse it in the sink let it dry and then you're gonna fucking roll weed into it Holy fuck, buy pre-rolls, buy a fucking weed pen. Oh my God, there's no way that that is your preferred method of smoking. There's no way. <laughs> there's no fucking way. And is that even what it's really called, graba? Or is graba the shit that you put inside? Girl, I don't fucking know. It's just a big ass leaf. You know what I'm talking about though? A big ass brown leaf looks like Tarzan's ball sack cloth. <sighs> 
<laughs> that shit makes me mad, dude. That shit pisses me the fuck off. Um, I mean, yeah, just coming from a sober queen here, there are a few things that uh that do uh grind my gears, and and that is one of them. But uh, yeah, I, I I've never met someone who vapes like um nicotine and and had good smelling breath. I hate to break it to you. I really hate to break it to you like this. I'm so, so, so sorry. But the second you start hitting that shit, yeah, your breath smells like fucking ass. It really does not smell good. Um, so maybe you should stop doing that. Maybe you should stop smoking that. There's actually, um, there are these alternatives. Someone actually commented on one of my, um, I don't know if it was in my Twitch or if it was on here, but someone was like, I've literally been, uh, I th- it was Sparkle Fun Time, I believe. Hey, Sparkle Fun Time, if you're listening. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's who it was. Uh, she said that she's been vaping for like years and she, <laughs> she quit because of me because I said so. <laughs> and I'm like, honestly real, you know, what? if I could, if I could even stop one person from vaping, you know, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Um, but you know what? Let's get into our, uh, our caller for the day. Shall we? Again, we don't have a phone. So, uh. Well, there's actually, there's one that I want to play first. There's one that I want to play first. Hold on. I believe this is the one. Um, Let me let you guys listen to this one. Vanilla, here's a poem for you. In the world of gaming, there's a star so bright. Vanilla's her name. She's a Fortnite delight. With a controller in hand and skills so keen. She conquers the battlefield like a gaming queen. But wait, there's more to this streaming sensation. She's a real-life stripper, causing a sensation. By night, she's on stage, twirling around. By day, she's on Twitch, where victory's found. Chai and Miso, her furry companions. Watch her game triumph with wide-eyed passions. Between building forts and cat cuddles galore. Vanilla's life is never a bore. And what's this I hear? Her ex is around. Playing duos together, they cover more ground. Though messy and wild, Vanilla's got style. In both gaming and life, she's versatile. So here's to Vanilla, the streamer so fine. With a quirky life that's a bit out of line. With Fortnite skills and stripper grace. She's the queen of Twitch, winning the race. Wow. That was just beautiful. Was that not amazing? An AI poem for me. All for me. And it actually, like, it rhymed. It was good. It was good. I'm not mad at it. Um, okay, let's let's get into our actual uh, question for the day. All right, Vanilla's Villa, how can I help you? Hey, girl. I'm coming to Vanilla's Villa all the way from Australia. And first of all, I am so obsessed with your podcast. I am so obsessed with you. Um, I think you are absolutely gorgeous and I cannot stop listening to your podcast. I'm actually obsessed. Um, okay. So I need your advice. Um, because basically I go to university and my music professor (laughs) is a 30 year old man. Mind you, I'm 17 years old and I have developed feelings for him, which I do not want but I just can't help it. But I do not want these feelings. And I really need your advice, your advice, sorry, on on how to stop having feelings for this grown adult man. Um, Yeah, like as soon as possible, because I really, I really don't want this to like, you know, affect my grade or like my ability to focus in class. (laughs) Thanks, girl. Love you. man well this one is a bit of a doozy um but i mean first let's start off with the fact that it's illegal i mean actually alexa what is the age of consent in australia the age of consent in australia varies by jurisdiction huh (laughs) um let's ask my laptop that because i don't know i mean it's still fucking weird okay age of consent australia wait i just typed austria by accident and it said 14 that's fucking concerning 16 and 17 years 
That, that's so weird to me, bro. 14 for fucking Austria? Who the fuck decided that? Bro, I still wanted to, like, I, I was probably still on fucking Webkins when I was 14, if I'm being honest. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway. 14 is insane. Um, Okay, so it's technically not illegal in Australia, but still not right. Very, very strange. Very strange. Very. And also, too, you want to know what? Ooh, you want to know what? You see all these fucking stories, uh, like all this shit coming out with, with these teachers that like actually are in relations with uh, students and like all this fucked up shit, the shit with the Nickelodeon thing and like people working in these industries to get closer to children because they're like actually like fucking into them and like weird shit. I mean, this is university, so it's different, but I don't know. It just, uh, it's just so bizarre to me. Like whenever I feel like whenever I like there's like a hot teacher. I'm like, uh, like go fuck yourself. Like go fuck yourself. Like, I don't know. That just pisses me off. Like, why as a teacher, are you like hot? Like go, go do something else. Like go, <laughs> I don't know. This shit just makes me mad. Um, I never had a teacher that I had a crush on there. There was never, um, a teacher that there was a, one of our gym teachers. He was like kind of good looking, but I never had a teacher that I was like, Oh my God. Uh, um, yeah, now, that, yeah, so I don't, I can't really relate to that, but, you know, just, you just, I think you just got to think of it as a thing where it's like, you know, at the end of the day, he is your teacher, you do have to focus, and maybe try to, you're young girl, try to focus on someone your own age, maybe, you know, maybe a couple years older, but, you know, 30, and you're 17, girl, please, that's pushing it, okay, that, that's really fucking pushing it, and he's your damn teacher, so, just, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like, how, think of him, like, what's something bad that you could think of him doing, hmm, like, what is he, a musical arts teacher, is that what she said, <sighs> I'm trying to think of something embarrassing, like, what could he do, Think about the fact that he probably doesn't make that much money because teachers are underpaid. And <laughs> actually, maybe not in Australia. Who knows? I, I feel like everything in Australia is like good and happy and like everyone's like blonde and everyone has a koala. So maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe people, maybe teachers are like paid really good out there. You never know. Um, so I, I hope you, I hope you figure that out. I'm so <laughs> didn't really give you any good <laughs> but uh girl you just just fucking forget about him that's all I could say just maybe try to distract yourself try to maybe there's is there another cute guy in your class like you know just try to keep yourself busy with like another another individual maybe you know uh that's that's really all I could <laughs> the only advice I have for you um and I hope whatever musical stuff you're learning I hope you, you do it well and you learn it good um but yeah, that's it. And uh, again, don't forget to send me in voicemails. Uh, go to my link tree in my Instagram bio. Either of my Instagrams, my personal or the Vacancy of Vanilla Instagram. And you scroll down and there is a link to send me a voicemail. Um, if you want to, if you're uncomfortable sending voicemails, you could always just type me a message in the DMs. Um, either, either way, I just think the voicemails are just fun to listen to. But um, up to you. Uh, that's it. I think we're going to wrap it up here. It's been about an hour. Um, again, sorry for the late pod. Don't beat my ass. Uh, it's never going to happen again. Mm, don't hold me to that. Uh, you never know. Life happens. Okay. Love you. See you next week.